Hey everybody, Dave here, and today I have the little Ape Man A79, and I'm going to be ma making some kind of a little lens cap for it. And I thought I'd share this idea with you guys. Um, even if you don't have an Ape Man A79, I think this would work for a lot of action cams, particularly the ones that have a round lens, um, like most of the budget action cams. So what I did was I cut this little ring off of a, a plastic water bottle. This is where the cap screws on and I also have the cap. This I'm going to hot glue on there. I've already tested it. It doesn't obstruct the view. It just kind of sits on the outside. And then the cap screws right onto that. I can't stand it up right now or it'll fall off. Um, but the idea is that I don't like to put the camera in the waterproof case all the time because you don't have the sound when you do that. And also, um, you know, the, the outer, the waterproof case, besides losing the sound, sometimes it just, it's more cumbersome to use and, um, you know, you can't get the sound. And so I just like to sometimes be able to just grab the camera and, you know, keep it in a pocket or something. And I don't want it to, I didn't want the lens to get damaged, but I wanted to just be able to grab it and use it and keep that lens protected, you know, without having to put it in the waterproof case. So this was the idea I came up with. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to hot glue this on there now. And I'll show you guys that. Um, alternatively, I, I chose hot glue because I think it will come off clean if I had to ever kind of pry it off. And I, could, I think I could clean that off okay. Um, in case I didn't want to keep it for some reason. Um, but it, the other way you could do it is just like, this is just a little bit big. It almost fits on snug. And if I wrap just a little bit of black electrical tape on there, I could probably get this to get a pretty snug fit just with friction. Um, but I'm going to choose to glue it on, but just another idea for you guys. And, um, so I'll, I'll show you guys how that goes. We'll go over there on the counter where I have the glue gun and we'll fix this up. You know, you could you could get um, more creative with this if you wanted to paint this cap so that it matched. Um, but that's kind of what it's going to look like when it's on there. But let's go do this. Okay, so I have a couple ways I could do this. I could put the glue on the cap itself and then try to put it on there but I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the put a little glue right around this little ring here and then I'm going to set my ring on it so let's try that I don't think I need a whole lot of glue I'm going to do a little bit all the way around got to work quick with this stuff Now I, th I see that I had a little bit, I don't know if you can see that guys, there's a little bit right there on this side here that looks like just a little strand of glue, but I think I can just wipe that off. I'm going to let that, let that set up for a minute, unplug my glue gun. It feels pretty secure already, but I'll wait a few minutes before I put the cap on. I'm going to clean that up. I'm going to try to clean that off just with a tissue or a piece of paper towel maybe. Let's see if we can even see that. There's a little piece right over there. Yeah, there you go. You can see it now. Just like a little hair there. Yeah, a couple little hairs. So we're going to try to make sure we can get those off. And I think we'll be, uh, I think it won't be too bad. I'm just taking a little piece of paper towel and just trying to run it around there. I don't see anything now that looks like it'll be in the way. Sorry guys, I hit the tripod. 
that looks pretty good. You can see glue around it, but I don't think it's going to be anywhere in, in any problem. And that's what it looks like from the side. And here's the, uh, the cover. So this just screws on when you want to carry it around or whatever. And that could have been painted black, you know, or wrapped with electrical tape or any kind of thing. Um, probably painted black would be the best thing, but um, for me I'm not so concerned about the aesthetics, but I just wanted to make it to make it work. But I, I may paint it black. It would be better to paint it black beforehand for sure. So I just wanted to give you guys a close-up look at this. So there it is with the cap off. And the cap goes on easily. And of course the nice thing is too, if you lose the lens cap, <laughs> you know it's only a bottle cap from a bottle of water. So you can always get another one. And it doesn't look bad. You know, of course, like I said, if you painted it black, you wouldn't even know that it was an original equipment. But there you go. Okay, so that concludes this episode. Here's the before, here's the after. I think it came out pretty good. I gave it a good test um, when I twisted the cap on and it seems to be on there nice and strong. You don't see too much. You see a little glue down there. But I think it's a pretty good deal. And um, I'll see how it holds up in the pocket and so forth. But I really like that it has some kind of protection now without needing the whole case. So this one's my wife's and this one's mine. But anyway, so his and her budget action cams. These cameras run for about um, $49 off sale. I got mine for $35 and I got hers for $39. So if you catch a sale, Amazon has them on sale often. They have like a 20% off coupon. Um, then you can get them for under 40. Anyway guys, I'll put a link to that too, to the cameras. I'll put an affiliate link down there below. And um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below in the description and I'll get back to you when I can. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.